In my agency, our workflow involves starting with Figma. We ship our clients a low fidelity and then a high fidelity mockup because we want them to see something as quickly as possible. Now, what we end up having to do is transfer that from Figma into Oxygen manually. And so I tasked myself and my team last year to come up with a solution that would save us up to 75% of our development time. And I'm super excited to share with you that we've done that. Not only that, but this tool is now available for you as well. So this tool is called Xenon, and of course I'll show you it here in just a second, but essentially what happens is your Figma designs are mapped into Oxygen Elements, and everything is built using Oxygen Elements. There's no extra custom code, and you'll be able to manipulate everything that's imported in Oxygen. There's also no divception or anything like that. So however you build your layout in Figma is how it transfers into Oxygen. What you're looking at here on the screen is a couple of demo layouts, which I'll show you, and then we'll also get into an entire header, footer, and then page content as well, something that's a bit more complex than this. We released this a couple of weeks ago to our insider premise log list, and the feedback has already been really great. We fixed a number of different bugs that have shown up, and we've already been able to ship two different updates. So if your workflow involves Figma in any way, I think this is going to be hugely transformational for you. It certainly has been for us and inside my agency, we are pretty much using this every single day now. So like I said, we're gonna start off with one of these smaller example layouts, move into a more complex page, and then we'll go from there. So let me go ahead and dissect some of what's happening here in this Figma design. So I have a few different example layouts. One of these is like a 50-50 column container. And what I'm doing is taking advantage of auto layouts in Figma. So auto layouts end up mapping directly over to your oxygen layouts. So if we look over here, we have a horizontal auto layout, and that's gonna map to a flex direction of horizontal in oxygen. So my container on the left side is this image right here. And then on the right side, I have a frame or a group, which is essentially going to become a div in Oxygen. Inside of that, I have a second container because I have some padding on this one. If I take a look over here, there's 75 pixels of padding on all sides of this container. Then if I expand this other frame real quick, you can kind of see the arrangement of these headings. And what's so cool about Xenon is this arrangement and all of the styling that you see here is gonna be mapped over to Oxygen for you automatically. We also have built an integration with popular frameworks like OxyNinja Core and Automatic. So if you choose not to import the styling, you can add your classes directly to elements in Xenon before you import. And I'll show you how to do that in just a little bit. So that's the general layout of this 50-50 column container. So if we move down here to this three column card, we have a little bit more complexity here. So we have a header row, and this header is going to have a frame for our text on the right, as well as a group for our subheading and our actual heading element itself. Again, these are going to be using an auto layout. I've set some space between here of 90, let's make it 95 pixels. And down here we have a card group. Inside of that, there is three different cards that you can see. The card group is set to a horizontal direction and it's got 30 pixels of space between these elements. So what happens with this space between items is it's going to apply 30 pixels of left margin to every element that's a child of this container. So basically two of the three of these elements are gonna get 30 pixels of left margin. If it were vertical, then it's going to get margin top. So we've built some smart behavior in there so that of course you don't need 30 pixels of margin on this one here. And our goal is eventually to get this to work with flex gap as well. So looking a little bit deeper inside of this card, we have another auto layout on the card directly. And what we have is the image container at the top, and then we have the frame here with all of our content inside of it. So again, you can just see exactly how this structure is going to behave in Oxygen. These are all going to become divs, and then we're gonna have our button, text, our heading, and kind of our subheading right there. So what we'll go ahead and do is move into the Xenon interface. I'll show you how this works import it into Oxygen and you can see exactly how this behaves. Okay, so what we need to do at this point, now that we're ready to move into Xenon, is we need to grab our Figma document ID, which is this part of the URL when you're in a Figma document. We're gonna move over into our Xenon interface and here is your Figma document ID. So you're just gonna go ahead and paste that in. Our plan is to eventually do more than just Oxygen, but of course right now you're gonna select Oxygen as your builder. And then if you'd like, you can choose a utility class framework. If you don't wanna use one, that's totally fine. Just click none. Uh, we'll do automatic in this example and we'll come back to that later. What you'll do now is just click on continue and you can see what it does is pick up all of the elements inside of your Figma document. So everything that we just looked at is now here inside of our Xenon interface. So there was two different elements that we're gonna grab which is this 50-50 image text and then our three column container. So I'm gonna just go ahead and grab this. If I remove the search, then you can see what it does is it grabs everything underneath it just like you'd expect. 
So I already touched on our integration with Automatic and Oxy Ninja. If you want this app to ignore all of the styles from Figma and instead only group your elements in divs and oxygen, what you can do is turn on this option right here, which says ignore Xenon styles. And what that will do is all the spacing, colors, alignment, typography, all that stuff will be completely ignored. And instead what it will keep is your groups and frames. So all the organization of your document. And then instead what you could do is use your utility classes here. So on this 50-50 image, you might do something like flex row or you might do something like grid dash dash two in this case. And that will add that automatic class to your export. Your class does need to exist in your oxygen install before you do this. So just keep that in mind. But in this case, I'm actually not gonna use any classes. I just want it to bring in the exact elements from Figma and you can see how it behaves. So what I'll do now that I have my elements selected is simply click on generate. I'm gonna wait just a second. And there we go. There is the output of that example layout. So you can see there is all the code. I just click one time to copy this. And what I'm gonna do is move into my oxygen template or page. Now what I need to do is go to the short codes box here. We'll paste that in, go ahead and click on update. And then we need to click on edit with oxygen. And here is the imported layout. So you can see how similar this looks. And if I go ahead and expand my structure panel, you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So what was our wrapper of these two elements becomes a div. We have our image on the left side and we have another div containing all these other elements on the right. So again, like I mentioned, there is no divception because whatever you build in Figma is what transfers over here to Oxygen. Now, of course, you'll notice the images do pop in. They are a temporary link from Figma, so you will need to replace them with your link to your WordPress media library, but at least when you load into Oxygen, you can see the real thing. And if we go ahead and take a look down here at this other more complex layout, you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So we have our two different divs, we have the multiple cards inside of them and inside of the divs, then there's the two different sections. And again, whatever I built in Figma is exactly what's gonna pop into Oxygen. Not only that, but of course, all of the styling that you see was carried over as well. So now what you'd wanna do is just make sure you have classes assigned where you want them, go ahead and work on your mobile responsive layout and you're done. We would just simply save and we could take a look real quick on the front end. And now that our layout is not so scrunched, you can see that everything is fitting properly. So this is extremely cool. We did that in a matter of, you know, a couple of minutes. And I recognize these two layouts are not particularly complex, but it would take some time, especially if you're someone that is more adept in Figma than perhaps you are in Oxygen. Now, of course, this is extremely cool, but what I want to do at this point is pull in a more complex page layout. So what I have over here in this Figma document is a website layout that would contain a header, kind of a hero section, what we provide, we have sort of a portfolio, plans, and we have a multi-layered footer right here. And we can actually go ahead and bring in all of this as well. So I went ahead and grouped everything in frames and groups, because of course, if I don't, then it's not going to be grouped properly in our oxygen import. So it really does pay to organize your Figma document, because the thing to consider is however clean your Figma document is, is really going to pay dividends later on when you import into Oxygen. So again, let's just go ahead and copy our document ID. I'll go ahead and refresh this screen, change my document ID over and click on continue. So here is our new page layout. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this page wrapper, which is gonna get me everything on the page. I'll generate short codes here. You can see how quickly it generated every single short code for all of those elements on the page. So I'll go ahead and click on them to copy. I'm gonna go back to the admin panel on my template real quick. We will simply expand our short codes box. I will replace all of those, update this, and then we need to click on edit with oxygen. And so here is that imported layout. So you can see we have our topmost div up here, which is kind of an upper header. We have this header container. We had kind of a hover effect in the document, which of course we would change to the actual hover state of this element, but it does already exist for us. We have the upper hero section. We have all of our icons and the image from the right hand side of that section. Here is our portfolio. Our plans all got brought in and every single element on this page is all editable in oxygen. So you can see everything has been mapped over properly. It even brings over things like borders and box shadows as well. We have a button here that we could simply make a link by just turning it into a link wrapper like that. And then here is our footer down here. And there you go. Now you can see we have basically everything on this page. And in just a matter of minutes, you can see how quickly we have all of these elements on the page. There is of course going to be a little bit more tweaking you can do, which is why I said the goal was to save development time by up to 75%, because I recognize this tool can't do everything even though we want it to. So there still is a little bit more that you need to do. 
But for us, this is a tremendous time savings. That was the primary goal for this project was to significantly shrink the time that it takes for us to deliver functional sites to clients. And by the time they've seen the mock-up, they're pretty much ready to roll. So we've now been able to shrink that time from when the client sees the mock-up to actually getting the functional site ready and proofed very significantly. So again, the app is called Xenon. You can find more information at the link in the description below. If you have any questions, feel free to send an email as well, and I'll be more than happy to get back to you. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in a future video.